Brussels sprouts? Do you like Brussels sprouts? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do another grocery haul for you because we are the coronavirus. Schools are starting to close. Quarantines are starting to go into effect. I went ahead and went to Costco this morning. I did need some things, but I did a um, kind of like a mega quarantine friendly haul. So I grabbed a lot of extra things, um, kind of like double what I usually get. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I got, give you some meal ideas and maybe some ideas for if you have to do a shopping trip to buy things that are um, shelf stable, all of that jazz, that's what this grocery haul is all about. So I'm sure you guys have seen it. Everybody is talking about stocking up on toilet paper. Costco was out of toilet paper. They were out of paper towels and it was the craziest I've ever seen it just as far as the number of people who were there. But I will say that everyone was super respectful, uh, really like quiet, like everyone was just really focused. Um, but it wasn't a really bad trip. It just took a while to get through all of the crowds. Um, but on the whole, there were not many things that Costco was out of other than of course toilet paper um but this is what i got okay so a lot of things i just went ahead and bought two of so i always buy these organic tortilla chips they're not going to go bad and i was really just trying to avoid having to go back to costco anytime soon so these are of course great for snacking but they're also really great for sheet pan nachos you can just use beans salsa things like that i have recipes for all of this on the blog so i will link it down below I got some Cheerios. Um, my kids have cereal once or twice a week and I like to kind of rotate what I get. Last time I got frosted mini wheat, so this time I got cereal. Again, another bag of tortilla chips. I did grab some new fruit pouches because my daughter ate the very last one yesterday and I really love these. I talk about them in every haul, so I'm not gonna say anything about them now. I got some more tuna. We do have a few cans downstairs, but this is just another really great thing to have on hand. It's a really easy lunch idea. And like I said, if we don't go through it immediately, we will definitely go through it eventually, especially with spring and summer coming up. It's a great picnic idea. Two blocks of cheddar cheese. I would usually just get one, but I'm trying not to go back. I got these baby carrots. My kids love these and they're so easy to just pull out and serve with some of my homemade ranch for lunches. I went ahead and got another thing of tortillas. I don't think I'm out yet, but, but they'll be nice to have on hand for burritos and quesadillas, just an easy lunch idea. I am out of these bacon crumbles, so I went ahead and grabbed a bag. I love these. We're gonna have these for lunch today. I'm gonna make some roasted cauliflower soup and we're gonna put some bacon on top. This is something that was on sale and I've never bought it before, but it just looked really fun. It's this birthday cake granola. It is gluten-free, granola-free, free of a lot of things. So it was about $7. And I think that it'll be fun for my kids to put on yogurt. It has these um, naturally colored sprinkles in there. It's kind of hard to see, but multicolored sprinkles. So that's just gonna be a fun thing for them. Some organic um, guacamole packets. These I will just put right into the freezer and then take them out when we have sheet pan nachos because they do thaw really easily and they freeze really well too. I got some oranges. We still have some, but I'm gonna put these in the fridge and they'll last a while that way. Some crackers to eat with our tuna salad. I really like these um, almond flour crackers. They're tasty and um, I wanna say it's like seven or $8 for that box, which is a really good price. And then some Annie's mac and cheese. We still have some of this, but we will use it eventually and my kids love it. So I went ahead and grabbed another box. I think it was on sale as well, so that helped. Some frozen vegetables because if I can't go to the store for um, a few weeks, it'll be nice to have um, more vegetables in the freezer. Usually I do more fresh veggies um, 
but this will be nice to have. I got some pot stickers just as a really easy meal. Again, if we're just looking for easy meals and not going out organic strawberries. My kids, I use these to make smoothies and to make jam, but my kids have actually, especially my daughter, my um, two-year-old, she's discovered how much she loves these straight out of the freezer. She'll just walk up and ask for a strawberry and you just give her one frozen strawberry and it's a nice little snack for her. Um, some heavy cream. This is the best price. It's about $4 for a quart of heavy cream some parsley. I can't remember if I went out of this. I feel like I am and I definitely don't want to run out of parsley because that means that I can't make my homemade ranch. I also got two bags of coffee. I needed one. Went ahead and got the second one. A bag of potatoes because these will keep for a really long time and they're just really versatile and easy. So um, again, I was just trying to get kind of like the hardier things that will keep like these Brussels sprouts. These are going to be good for a while. So even if we don't eat them right away, as long as they're in the fridge, they're going to last. I got some string cheese and some mozzarella. Um, so this is one bag will go in the freezer. One bag will go in the fridge. And of course we like to have these on hand for mainly for pizzas. Sometimes we use it for other things, but most of the time I just use the mozzarella for pizzas. I grabbed a pork loin. This was $11 for this. So I'm going to cut it in half and I can use it to make some um, pork, shredded pork tacos. There's a recipe in my cookbook for um, shredded pork tacos and it uses just a jar of salsa verde, which I already have on hand. So I wanted to grab this and it's really easy and really yummy. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this ham in half. This was about um, $11. Both of these meats were $11. So I'll cut it in half and I can cook it in my instant pot. It makes, um, I don't know if I said anything about the Hawaiian rolls. So I bought Hawaiian rolls and I can make um, pesto and ham sliders. Super delicious. And then of course, there's so many different ways to serve ham. That's one of my favorite. You can add it to eggs, all kinds of different things. This was a new purchase, but my husband, his face lit up when he saw that I bought this. So my husband and my nine-year-old are really excited about this, um, but raw organic sauerkraut. So this was, I wanna say about $8 for this package. Um, the ingredients are only organic green cabbage, sea salt, and organic garlic. So uh, great for sausages, great just as a side dish, lots of good things. And of course, it's probiotic. It's really um, good for your gut health. So we already have apples, but again, apples are not going to go bad anytime soon. And my kids like to have just about one apple a day. So I bought three bags of apples. I'm just going to put them um, up somewhere where they're not going to go bad and we can pull them out when we need them. I got a bag of veggie straws. Those are just good for snacking. This bag of croutons, it's like six or seven dollars, but it lasts so long and we are out of croutons right now. So I went ahead and got that. Um, three gallons of milk. Now I did buy three more gallons Again, if we're not going to the grocery store for two to three weeks, I just wanted to have it on hand. So the other three are already downstairs in my freezer. Um, and I needed some laundry detergent. So I didn't only go to Costco for all of this stuff. There were a couple other things that I needed, including laundry detergent. I just get the Costco brand free and clear. I got some um, Spindrift. Now, recently, we've only been getting this Pellegrino, just the big bottles of um, sparkling water. But I went ahead and got this um, just to have on hand because it's just going to be really nice. And I think that Hi. that takes care of my Costco Hi. order. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you was just to kind of give you some ideas. If you are quarantined, if your kids are home from school and they're not usually, the dollar store is a great place to just get some extra fun things to play with. And that's what I did today. I got these little, I went to five below. If you have one of these stores, we really like it for going and just picking out some toys every so often. So I got these little alphabet stamps here. 
uh, it looks like just a really nice activity, something that I would buy regardless of a quarantine. So those will be nice to add to our um, school stuff. My two-year-old loves to play catch. Um, she's constantly doing it. So I think that this is just going to be a fun thing. I don't expect this to last forever, but it'll give us some fun for a little while. This is really cool, I think. I will let you guys know how I like it. But it's this little um, bubble dispenser. But it says no spill, and it has these three bubble wands. So this could be something that is really fun all through spring and summer. My kids are really excited that I bought them some bubbles. I also got this big thing of bubbles here and a package of sidewalk chalk. So even if we just go to the park and um, ride our bikes or play the toddlers, whoever wants to can draw with the sidewalk chalk. And I got a basket for me because I just can't turn up, turn up, turn, turn away. I don't know. I can't pass um, a little basket like this. So I will be using that somewhere in my spring decor. Okay, guys, as always, I hope you found that helpful. I'm going to list all of my related recipes, the pesto and ham sliders. I'll list my cookbook. I'll list the recipe that shows you how to make box mac and cheese in your instant pot. Um, everything, if you're looking for recipe inspiration, dinner ideas, lunch ideas, stuff like that, I will put the links down below. As always, I hope you found this helpful. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps for um, YouTube to know that people are enjoying my videos. So I appreciate it when you take the time just to click that little thumbs up. It's super helpful. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel and I will catch you guys later. Thank you.